The Leonardo AW101 Merlin, formerly known as the EH101 Merlin, is a testament to British and Italian engineering collaboration. This medium-lift, multi-purpose Manteron helicopter has seen its operational footprint expand significantly since its development began in the 1980s. Initially designed to meet a range of military and civilian requirements, the AW101 has proven its versatility and reliability in various roles, including general passenger transport, maritime defense, anti-submarine warfare, airborne early warning, search and rescue, amphibious support, disaster relief, and medical evacuations. The AW101 Merlin boasts a robust and well throughout design, featuring a well-contoured airframe driven by three powerful turboshaft engines. The cockpit, positioned at the extreme forward end of the fuselage, offers excellent visibility for both pilots thanks to its extensive glazing. Access to the cockpit is through two hinged automobile star doors and the controls on the redundant can be managed by a single pilot if necessary. The cabin located aft of the cockpit is spacious and versatile. It features rounded rectangular windows for exterior viewing and blister tap viewing ports to assist in loading and unloading operations. The Merlin can accommodate a standard crew of four, two pilots and two specialists, and can be configured to house 45 standing infantrymen, 24 seated infantry, or 16 medical lifters with rooms for a medical crew in a medevac role. One of the AW101's key strengths is its modular avionic suit which can be tailored to meet specific operator requirements. This includes various land-based and maritime systems that enhance navigation, communications, automated flight, and landing. The radar systems are equal adaptable with options for surveillance, search, and weather avoidance radar. The aircraft is equipped with a radar warning receiver to alert the crew of inbound threats, including homing missiles and an integrated direction infrared countermeasure suit that automatically deploys chaff and flares. Navigation is facilitated through GPS and night operations are supported by night vision goggles and a modular turret system that can accept forward-looking infrared. While the Merlin can operate unarmed, it is typically equipped with a self-defense suit that includes up to three 7.62mm general-purpose machine guns. This can be mounted on the rear loading ramp and on pinter mounts on each fuselage side. For more offensive military roles, the Merlin can be fitted with wing steps to mount unguided rocket ports and machine gun ports. Maritime defense configurations may include up to four homing torpedoes, anti-submarine depth charts, and anti-ship missiles, making the Merlin a formidable asset against both surface and underwater threats. External fuel tanks can be added to extend its operational range, and the aircraft is designed to accept in-flight refueling. Powered by three Rolls-Royce Turbimeca RTM32201 series turboshaft engines, each generating up to 2,312 shaft horsepower, the AW101 Merlin delivers impressive performance. It has a top speed of 192 miles per hour, an operational range of up to 863 miles, and a service ceiling of 15,000 feet. The helicopter's rate of climb is 2,000 feet per minute. Its empty weight is 23,150 pounds, with a maximum tail weight of 31,200 pounds. 
the AEW101 Merlin is operated by several countries, each leveraging its unique capabilities for various missions. The Royal Navy and Royal Air Force employ the Merlin in anti submarine warfare, anti-electronic warfare, and search and rescue roles. Its versatility and advanced systems have made it a cornerstone of UK military operations. The Italian Navy uses the AW101 for maritime patrol, anti-submarine warfare, and search and rescue missions. The helicopter's robust performance and modularity have proven invaluable in diverse operational environments. The Danish Air Force utilizes the AW101 primarily for search and rescue and transport missions. Its ability to operate in harsh weather conditions is particularly beneficial for missions in the North Atlantic. The Canadian forces have adopted the AW101 designated CH149 Cormorant for search and rescue operations, particularly in the challenging terrains of the Arctic and coastal regions. The Royal Norwegian Air Force employs the AW101 for search and rescue and utility transport roles, capitalizing on its range and payload capacity to support operations across the rugged Norwegian landscape. The Portuguese Air Force uses the AW101 for search and rescue and combat search and rescue missions, demonstrating its effectiveness in both peacetime and conflict scenarios. In conclusion, the Leonardo AW101 Merlin continues to prove its worth as a versatile, reliable, and highly capable helicopter system. Its ability to adapt to various roles and environments, coupled with its advanced avionics and robust defensive systems, makes it a valuable asset to the military and civilian operators worldwide.